County and state officials are weighing in on parking restrictions on the Isle of Palms just days before city council is scheduled to hold a special meeting. News 2's Riley Benson spoke with leaders. He joins us now from the roof with the very latest. Riley, you've been following this from the very start. Yeah, good afternoon, Sophia. That's right, just days away from a meeting on the Isle of Palms, which could decide whether parking restrictions are extended or lifted. I took concerns to both state and county officials today. The residents of West Ashley are being locked out of these beaches. Locked out of the beach, something that Charleston County Councilman Brantley Moody says he has heard from many constituents. I think this is a move to privatize the beaches. I think this is a move that these communities have wanted to make for a long time, and COVID gave them the perfect excuse to do it. State Senator Marlon Kimson believes beach communities like the Isle of Palms are taking measures to ensure the safety of both residents and visitors. I think local government has to use all tools necessary uh, to try to curve the pandemic we're, we're suffering from. Kimson believes restrictions should be taken a step further on beach communities and across the state. Personally, I've advocated to close the beaches, to close the bars. Uh, to close the high exposure areas. A sacrifice of parking in hopes of a quicker return to normalcy. I certainly stand behind all the local governments that are taking it upon themselves to put in, in my view, reasonable restrictions. And hopeful that restrictions are only temporary, Moody says he's ready to pursue other options if restrictions were to remain in place. If it takes holding back you know, road pavings and other project monies that these uh, communities will bring forward here in the next couple months for them to maybe consider changing their ways, that's something I'm willing to do. Now, just before this, I spoke with Isle of Palms Mayor Jimmy Carroll. He mentioned two things to me. He says that re businesses, restaurants, and islands are starting to feel a noticeable kickback from these restrictions. He also says during that meeting on Thursday, he plans to vote in favor of allowing parking to return on Palm Boulevard, the ocean side, but says his vote is only one of nine. Live from Mount Pleasant, Raleigh Benson, count on two.